Podcast, episode 58. Hey, this is the second time we going about this shit. I ain't gonna lie to y'all. My producer messed up the original intro, but we good. We got two good brothers on the show, man. We got AJ on the beat, producer. We got singer, songwriter, Troy Tyler. Yes, sir. What's good with y'all boys? What's going on? How you doing, man? I'm, I'm, a, little, I'm a little perturbed, but uh, <laughs> I'm letting it slide. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. We, this is our second take, you know what I'm yeah, saying? Because, you know, take. but it's a good thing we figured it out in the beginning. Because it would have been fucked up if we was hour in yeah, yeah. and had to recreate that shit, yeah, dog. Yeah, you know, we got to hop on Zoom or hey, something hey, next. This nigga would have got up. <laughs> hey, it would have been a breakfast club moment. Them niggas would have got up like, man, fuck y'all. Exactly. <laughs> fuck this podcast. <laughs> Angela Yee. <laughs> so, uh, once again, man, we do a thing called Salute Me While I'm Here. You know what I'm saying? But you got to go outside the box. No mom, dad, brother, sister, or kids. You know what I'm saying? Because, like I said, we lose a lot of people and we don't give them like, they flowers to smell them while he's still here. So, my show. I like to show people love so they can, you know what I'm saying, react to it. So, uh, if y'all got some people. <laughs> yeah, well, uh, uh, for the second time, uh, no, nah, uh, yeah, no, nah, but what I, what I said earlier was shout out to, man, the whole city of Detroit, man. Y'all been rocking with us stuff ever since we showed up. Uh, it's been a couple, couple yeah. folk, you know. It's been a couple folk, man. But for the most part, I mean, even he was cool, you know. Yeah. But, uh, yeah. <laughs> They taking he care of us, all. yeah. He coming yeah. around, man. They taking care of us, though, man. Shout out to Lazar, Precious, Sean, uh, man. It's Coop, yeah, Coop, King Coop over there. Yeah. Coop, Boost. Boost, yeah, my dog Boost, yeah. Can't yeah. forget about Boost. Yeah. yeah, he pull up when that man. We tell him where we at. He there for sure, yeah. for sure, for yeah. sure. Yeah. yeah. So your second time going around, man. Let me get in character. <laughs> but um, like I said, I was kind of on piggyback off of what he said. Shout out to everybody in Detroit. Y'all have been showing us mad love. Uh, every time we turn around, it's y'all. You know, you need something. You good. You yeah, eat. You hungry. Sure. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, you know, um, y'all always make you made sure that we were um, accommodated for everything that we needed. And I want to okay. shout out like uh, the team, like y'all, the team out here. We got a team um, ourselves. Shout out yeah. to K. Um, Shy, Tim, and Sean Don for setting this up. DeShazia, mm-hmm. Courtney, um, my boy Tay back home, Cam Dunner. Um, but everybody uh, has an intricate part in the movement of this journey. And sure. um, we can trust everybody. That's yeah. what makes it flow so smoothly. Hell so, yeah, hell yeah. Um, they always tell me, don't worry about it. We're going we gonna to figure it out. We got you. Don't, sure. You got to worry about that. So thank you for them. I know it's cliche, but mom and pops, uh, I'm actually adopted. So. Mm-hmm. Um, for them, what, what they've done for me means a lot to me. For sure. So I feel like I have a lot of things to show them and give back to them while they are still here. Yeah. That aren't just words, yeah, uh, yeah. actions as well. So yeah. um, shout out to them and just shout out to everybody supporting us mm-hmm. and um, making sure th- things like this can happen because mm-hmm. without y'all, we wouldn't be here. Oh, yeah, for sure, so, man. It was, it, was still, it was still heartfelt, you know what I'm saying? Second time. Yeah. I mean, so first time was just that you felt it, people, y'all felt it, man. But hey, it was all good, man. We, <laughs> hey, players mess up, man. It's all good. Yeah. <laughs> just, just don't let that happen again, though. Yeah, bro. for sure. Hell yeah, hell yeah. <laughs> but man, you know, it's still early in 2021, man. Um, mm-hmm. I always ask everybody, man, what's some ups and downs that y'all went through last year in 2020? Like, was it some good things? Sometimes we take those moments of hardship or, or, or messed up moment and just flip it. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people, of course, we lost some people, you know what I'm saying, and um, praises to those families. But some people stepped their ground up even more. So what's some shit, some ups and downs in 2020 that you that you guys went through? Um, I think I had a lot more ups than downs. Mm-hmm. Um, I met Kay last year. Mm-hmm. Uh, we set up the whole thing with uh, Lazar, mm-hmm. Duke and Dame, and Uncle Nearest last year. Um, Shout actually, out. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. Shameless plug, yeah, you know yeah, what I'm yeah. saying? Good Duke, um, good Duke. I actually um, signed a, a couple uh, agreements, partnerships with uh, a couple of great people, sure. a couple of great organizations. I want to speak on them right now, but just know I, I did a lot of a lot of movement in my career last year. Mm-hmm. So I think as far as that, it's been the most um, the most movement and the most. Um, I don't know. It's just a, it's. It, I think it's a very intricate part of my journey yeah. because I think this is the transition. For sure. You know, I thought before that was the work to get noticed. Yeah, yeah, People yeah. notice me now. It's the work to, you know, sustain this. Yeah, build off of that. Yeah, just yeah. This, this notoriety and just keep going and keep building off of it. Mm-hmm. So. Um, any was there any like any down moments like, that kind of mess things up or like all on the up. 
I, I try to be most, a really positive person. Sure. So uh, any down, I turn into a, a positive. Oh, yeah, so for sure. he, he, he started to be negative by cussing him out. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Like, you know, that, that, that get on me. And I feel like uh, the negativity can always be used as positive. Oh, yeah, positive. yeah for sure. You know, it's, either, it's either a lesson or a blessing. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. And uh, a lot of my negative moments are turning to music anyway. Yeah, so yeah. Uh, we learned how to, to change it around. But at 2020 was a good year for me besides yeah. COVID. Oh, yeah, for sure. But I'm still think, going through that. Yeah, journey. but yeah. I think even that was good. For artists, especially mm-hmm. like uh, artists on the come up, because it it made you do more. Exactly. Yeah. You know, there's no show, so I ain't got to worry about. Well, he gonna listen to his show. Mm-hmm. It's just music against music. Mm-hmm. You know, who can create the best content? Yeah, for sure. And that's all we did. We got like 50 songs done last year, Man. and that's that's only because we stopped going to the studio because you know we had a lot of stuff to work with. Yeah, yeah, but, yeah. But you no, know, we made a lot of hits last year. That's what's so, up. That's what's up. What about you, AJ? Man, man, I think uh, I think COVID really exposed. Expose a lot of people, man. Because either you, if you was, if you a real grinder, you know that shows. If not, you if you were exposed. Yeah, you know what I mean. Nice. And you got to figure something else out. But uh, yeah, I think for me it ramped up everything for real, for real. Yeah. I mean, you look where we at now. For sure. You know, in the middle Same. of this yeah, pandemic, yeah, yeah. we out here doing podcasts and stuff, man. Yep. So uh, yeah. Uh, Ain't no, ain't no such thing as uh, excuses, man. Oh, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. You got to make it happen. You either do or you don't, man. Oh, yeah, so, for sure. Yeah, for me, I've just been doing all 2020, and it's, and it's uh, yeah, everything's coming together now. Yeah, yeah, that's what's up. That's what's mm-hmm. up, man. Well, you know, we always, we don't go straight into the music, man. I like to get a, a background on how you guys grew up and stuff like that, where you from. I know you guys aren't from Detroit, so that's a, uh, you know what I'm saying, a story mm-hmm. within itself. Yeah, for sure. So give me, like, a, a young AJ and a young Troy. Like, how was it at the crib? You know what I'm saying? Who was in the crib with y'all? Like, how was it growing up? Where y'all from? Hey, man, I'm going to let this brother go first because I got a story. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's good. That's yeah, good. I got That's a couple good. stories. Oh, no. But uh, growing up for me was was, was dope. Uh, mom and pops both in the uh, in the household with me. Um, super loving, supportive household. So yeah. whatever I wanted to do, like that, and the question was, do you do you, you want to do it for real? Yeah, yeah if you want to do it for real, we got you. And if you're not illegal, obviously, yeah, you know, with that reason. Yeah, yeah. So uh, whatever it was, they always stood by me, mm-hmm. all me about school. Mm-hmm. You know, uh, always met people, was always out experiencing life, mm-hmm. never just in the house doing nothing. Yeah. So it, it was it was dope, man. I actually uh, I live on the outskirts of Milwaukee, so like in the suburbs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, but I still have family in there, so I was kind of going back and forth, kind of piggyback. Okay. So I kind of got both ends of the spectrum. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, but it, it was it was cool, man. I really I can't complain about anything. Uh, mm-hmm. A good upbringing got me through college. Mm-hmm. So you know, now, but I always love music. Yeah. Now your salute though, you said you, you mentioned adoption. Yeah. Like how did, did that affect you in any type of way? Like not I, at like, all. Without going into it in, in deep in deep in details, like how was that experience for you to you know saying be adopted? Someone had to tell me. Yeah. I, I walk like my dad, talk like my dad. Mm-hmm. Act like my mama So you know uh, I never knew until Somebody said something And if I didn't tell you If you look at us You wouldn't tell Yeah yeah for and sure And it, it doesn't matter to me um, At first I was a little Salty about it When did you, you find know, out Like, did like you know around, the... around 10 yeah. But you know At that age You know Okay cool I want to go outside And play now You know It really yeah. wasn't yeah. You know I adopted cool I know yeah. what it meant yeah. But yeah. as so I got It didn't affect you Like as far as like You being mad about the situation Or anything like that No Okay no, Not cool. at all no Okay okay What about you uh AJ, man, how was it growing up, man? Uh, especially where well, you from, man. Let them know. Yeah, Midwest, uh, Wichita, Kansas, just stand up. They all in here watching right now. <laughs> oh, yeah, what up, what up? Uh, but, uh, yeah, I come from uh, little old Wichita, Kansas. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. I think I'm a pretty good representation of the city. <laughs> yeah, you know what I mean. But uh, yeah, no, I came up with uh, it's kind of the exact opposite of bro here. I came, I came up with uh, it was six of us all together. Okay. You know, with my mom and pops and. Uh, I think it's uh, the 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 family has a long history of of musicians, mm-hmm. you know, down the lineage. Uh, yeah, you know, and I think uh, yeah, like my mom's side of the family, they kind of staples in the city yeah. as far as the music scene. Like my grandfather was inducted in the Kansas Hall, Hall of Fame a couple years ago. Okay, oh, wow. uh, yeah, 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 yeah. So we got we got a little bit of history. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, just. Uh, yeah, little old me, man. I, I I I started playing drums in the church. I think a lot of us start off like that, yeah, yeah, whether yeah. you singing or playing the keys mm-hmm. or the drums or whatever. But I started off in the church. Uh, I was rapping at one point. How that go? You know, <laughs> spit some, bro. What's I, you? No, I'm saying like because a lot of people start off like that, but then you like, you know what? It wasn't for me. Like I've always had a business mind, so I was always able to look at it from a business standpoint, like real for real, for real. Um, 
I'm marketable, mm. you know, to a certain extent, you know, but I may not be what they're looking for. I'm yeah. not I'm not a yes man by any means. For sure. You know, I'm a rebel, but I definitely got a cause. Mm. You know what I mean? So I'm not I'm not a uh if I don't like something, I'm gonna tell you. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. and I don't think that type of person does well mm. uh if they not doing for self. Yeah, for you sure. You know what I'm saying? So I, I almost gotta be a self doer because I'm not What'd you say? Yeah. You know, that's me. Who? What, yeah. who, who, yeah. who? You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. So, uh, being like that, you know, I, it kind of forced me to to do my own thing. But I mean, I ran into some great people doing my for own sure, thing. For sure. You know what I'm saying? So, man, just give me a little bit like Kansas. Like when you think about Kansas, you just think about the country and stuff like that. Yeah, like, what, what should I tell you? Know? What <laughs> like, should like, I what, tell you? What's, what's some things uh, that we may not know that surprise people? We we actually the uh, air capital of the world. For sure. Yeah. So a lot of the airplanes and stuff be built out there. Okay. Uh, the 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 largest air force base in the U.S. is is out there. Okay. okay. Uh, Pizza Hut started there. <laughs> yeah, 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 you know. I mean, I don't know. Yeah, 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 uh, yeah. I'm trying to think of some. I think White Castle started there. Okay. But the crazy thing is, we don't. It's not a White Castle in town out there. But it started there. Yeah. 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 Dang, yeah. yeah we Google that. Yeah. You know what I mean? yeah. 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 Uh, what else is something y'all need to know? Yeah, if y'all, uh, man, this is cat that make beats out there named AJ. Yeah, AJ, that me, brother, yeah, yeah, that, for sure. That brother right yeah, there, yeah. you know. Yeah, now growing up, we usually get our musical influences from our parents. It's never nothing that we just grew up knowing that we like this. Like yeah. when I was growing up, my dad was playing Bob Marley. It'd be the Beatles, it'd be Sting. Yeah. I never heard rap. The only rapper I ever heard in my house was Tupac. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I was off the off the Temptation era, Motown. Like, so my musical influences was... Was those type of you know what I'm saying artists and stuff? Yeah. Was it like you know what I'm saying no hip hop? I ain't listening to rap until I was like 14, like for real. Like I was listening to childish rap, what I would call it like MC Hammer. You know what I'm saying Criss Cross was that was that was like the biggest thing ever yeah, for me. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Hell yeah! So who were some people that y'all was liking just based off y'all appearance? Michael Jackson. Oh yeah, Michael yeah, Jackson. I got good four cards for Michael Jackson. Man, man, that's, <laughs> that's yeah, that's probably the number one on, on my side. But it, I got a little taste of everything. My pops is a drummer, mm -hmm. but he's a rock and roll type dude. So we was getting, I was getting all of that, all of the Pink Floyd and Aerosmith yeah. and all that. And then my mama is a Motown type of gal. Mm -hmm. Shout out to Detroit, yeah. Show, really? But yeah, my mama's a Motown type of gal, man. And I think her father then was too, so that's you know that's where a lot of my influence come from. I'm a '90s baby too, so R&B all day. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. oh yeah, for sure. All what about you, Trey? Who's who the people you listen to, man? When Motown, yeah. Motown, Motown, uh, Temptations, um, Supremes, Jackson Five, mm -hmm. Dale Phonics, the Four Tops, all the dramatics, all of yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. Uh, my pops used to sing when he was around my age, so. Mm -hmm. He uh, was in like an, a Temptation S group called the Debonairs. Okay, and, um, okay, okay. He, he had the, the low voice, so growing up, I would get Eddie Kendricks, he get Melvin oh, Franklin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, yeah. and, I, and I, I just loved it. So, yeah, yeah. you know, that that's kind of that's exactly where I started singing. And mm -hmm. I remember one day I sang a song for him, and uh, I was like, how was he? He's like, I was, I was bad. Yeah, that was terrible. Kept and that's, real. And, that, and that's actually how I grew to love and fall in love with music because mm -hmm. I went back to him singing the same songs I grew up listening to, yeah. trying to get his approval. And I just kept doing it and kept doing it, and that's why I, how I fell in love with it. So mm -hmm. the, t the Temptations really jump-started everything mm -hmm. because that's that's what I remember coming out the womb listening to. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And, that, you know, that's what inspires me today. Yeah, because that's what, man, we always get that from our parents, man. <laughs> like, you be listening to some wild stuff from your parents, but, like, once y'all got y'all own ear for music, once you started getting your own, you know what I'm saying, type of music, who would y'all listen to then? Like, once y'all got y'all own ear for the music. And not just hearing stuff that y'all parents was playing. I ain't gonna lie to you, man. I was a huge NSYNC fan. For real? They was cold. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That, they was cold. And I think I I just, I love the harmonies, mm -hmm. just how it sounded. Maybe not just them, but their sound. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? And I, I know the whole boy band thing was popping back in the day. Oh, yeah, heavy, so heavy, heavy, heavy. That was definitely That's one dope. thing. You know, we don't have too many bands <clears throat> right now, like, you know what I'm saying? As far as, like, who was the last successful band? Like, as a group. Can't even think of it, what? Mindless Behavior? Yeah. Like, could you say them? Uh, no, I, I go B5, with... B5, No, maybe? no. Uh, I go... Um, I go Cherish? Probably B2K. Danny D.K. Oh, B2K. Oh, uh, what? Uh, day 26? Day, see, Day 26 could have been bigger. Brother? Been. See, I'm talking about that, that, that B2K level. Okay. Yeah, like, yeah, I think B2K was like Probably the last, last one. Yeah, for real, for real. Yeah. And, cause, uh, and then in the 90s, you had you had Joseph New Boys. C, you had Drew Hill. Boys to Men. Yeah, boys to Men, yeah, yeah man. As yet. Yeah, like you had real singing I'll groups. Sure. And I think, shout out to Jacket Is, they might be the only group that never really broke up and made a solo CD. 
Yeah. Like everybody else, you know, Slim left from 112. Yeah. Of course, Bobby Brown. And Bobby mm-hmm. Brown was the most successful new addition artist, too, man. Yeah, yeah. Best one. Because uh, Ralph Transfer right. posted Ben, but I don't know what happened to him, man. Like, they did him dirty in that movie, too. <laughs> everybody can't go solo. No. Some people sound like you just, you fit into that niche. Everybody, yeah. you know. I feel like it's like on a basketball team. Some people aren't meant to be breakout stars. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. I feel like somebody's they, Kyrie, a team player. Can Kyrie never be a yeah. LeBron? Yeah, like Draymond Green is always a him. team player. He's exactly. never going to be a vocal point of a team. Exactly. People always ignore the business side of music, though. It, it, Ralph Tresvan ain't nowhere near as marketable as Bobby Brown. Mm-hmm. Bobby Brown wasn't an so entertainer. He was, man. He was, he was an he was entertainer. A, 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 I guess right at that time, a thug in R&B. Yeah, you right. know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> he wasn't with it. That's why he left the group. He wasn't trying to be... Dancing, he's trying to show what he can do with the ladies, man. Yeah, you right. So what about you? When you got your own ear for music, who would you um who would you on? A rap. It was rap for me, uh, and I pay I pay attention to to words. Mm-hmm. Like I'm I'm real intentional with my words, so I pay attention to words. So uh, one person for me that stood out. Was Eminem for sure? I keep giving all these Detroit shout outs. That, that ain't set up. <laughs> I'm gonna say, hold on, man. That ain't set up though, <laughs> yeah. for real. But you know, anybody that know me for real, for real, know I was a super huge Eminem fan. Mm-hmm. Uh, Twister, uh, that whole Twister, Twister's whole camp, like the Speed Not yeah, Mobsters, Twister and, Cole, yeah. and Do or Die. And do or Die, that. people. But Pope Pimpin'? Man. Dog, sleep on man. Do or Die, man. Sleep. Right from Chicago, yeah. man. Yeah, yeah so. I'm, Man, yeah. and they be having that little harmony, little singing, man. man. Dog, yeah. dude, you Melodies was crazy. Oh, bass. You man. remember how the bass kicked in dude, on that? That was cold, dog. Yeah. Dude, yeah. that was cold in mud, man. It was, it was like that, for real. So, um, with that, you know, saying with rapping stuff like that, you you touched on a little <laughs> bit, saying that you was involved with, you know, saying rapping stuff, and that's what you started off on. Like, yeah. as a, as a as a rapper, man, who who would you say influenced you in your music, like? And you, you not mimic their style, but kind of like, you know what I'm saying, take a page from it. So what, what I've always understood, uh, I mean, just life in general, like I've always been able to break it down, like on a, uh, like the psychology behind a lot of stuff. And for me, what what resonated, like when I listened to rap, what I felt the most was punchlines. Mm-hmm. You know, somebody says something, you're like, oh, dang, you know what I mean? That So yeah. that's what I was really going for. Uh you know, metaphors and punchlines, that was my for sure. thing. For sure. You know. Now, Troy, what about you? Like, did you? I know you sing, but did you ever think about everybody got a, a, a 16 bars and trying to be a rapper and stuff? Like, oh, he be, he be <laughs> Was he rap be, ever yeah. in your, like, in, in your pedigree? Like, yeah, so yeah. Um, Tupac, our favorite rapper. Oh, all time. Best rapper Tupac, ever. Yeah. He freestyled for two hours in the car last night. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you Tup- calm down. You calm down. <laughs> Tupac is the best rapper ever. Dog. Yeah, I ain't trying to hear nothing about that. But <laughs> Big Sean is my favorite now. And it's like it's kind of like what he said uh, punchline. Mm-hmm. Like, and I, Shout that's out like, Detroit again. Exactly. <laughs> I, know, <right? laughs> I know, right? But I feel like. What's lost in music is the uh, like the punchlines and just the the wordplay, yeah, you know, like the it. things that make you think. You know, I feel like a lot of hits nowadays is just it's so straightforward. Mm-hmm. You know, I mean, as, and as be long making up words, right? Why? Yeah, like what? Is you it? know, I, I feel like as long as it as you can float over it, you can ride on it, it's cool. Mm-hmm. But I feel like. Especially with R and B, it's much, it's much deeper than just the the music. Yeah, for sure. But you know, I feel like they they go they just both just as, as important as one another. But like your lyrics got to match the the uh, elegancy of the beat. You know, I I I can't get on his uh, one of his beats and yeah. just say some BS. Yeah, for you know? sure. So yeah, yeah. it may take me a month or two months to get on one beat. Mm-hmm. But this is I got to make sure that I approach it like R and B should be approached. Mm-hmm. Okay, because, you know, not just. I want to have sex with you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How can yeah. I, I, you know, how, how can I dance yeah, around that yeah. for you to get what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. But it's sexy enough that, you know, it's the first night, but yeah. how, how this dude just yeah, approached yeah, me, for sure. yeah, yeah. I'm going to give it to him. Yeah, you know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. So, you know, that that's how I try to approach it, and that's why I, I listen to, yeah. you know. So, like the, the Eminem's and the Big Sean's and mm-hmm. the Kendrick's and J. Cole's are mm-hmm. really uh, dope to me and important to my growth in music for because sure. you know they in, uh, implement exactly what I want to implement in my music. Okay. Now before we get into what you're doing now, you say that you know saying you graduated college and stuff like that. Yeah. Like, was there anything that you in high school or college, like basically high school, that you had passion for outside of music, or was it always just strictly music? Football. Football. Football uh, and acting. Okay. Okay. So what was you? How was y'all there on that, on that field, man? Oh, we was cold. I lost <laughs> in, my, in my high school career. I lost one game. For real? Oh, one what, game. What position? Uh, D line. D line. Okay. 
D-line. D-line, yeah. We, I was undefeated freshman year. Sophomore year, I played JV and varsity. Mm-hmm. So our, our varsity team was, was butt, but I really wasn't a part of that. I was that brought me up because I was good enough. Yeah. So if somebody got hurt, I'd step in. Okay. But uh, my, my football team was called every single Yeah, yeah. So like, nice. at, at the high school, I like, wasn't passionate and continued. He's like, I'm, I'm good. I live, I live it back in high school. So, well, actually, I talked to my pops about it, and he had told me, he's like, if you really want to do the singing thing, mm-hmm. something got to get. Yeah, for sure. Because I can't play football, get injured. Now I got a broken leg, but I got a show the next night. Yeah, yeah. Someone being in a wheelchair. For sure. You know yeah, what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, yeah. You know, like it's, it, exactly. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> exactly. You know, it, it's easy for him to make it work. Yeah, because he, he already out there. That, and yeah. he, got, he got the entourage, people jumping around with him and stuff, yeah. but I'm not a big entourage guy. So mm. when I'm on stage, it's me and my DJ. Yeah. That's it. For sure. Or a band, or, you know what I'm saying? Sometimes I'll be on there, too. Yeah. <laughs> no, <laughs> don't. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> But I, I feel like, you know, I, I got to make sure I move around. I got to feed the crowd and give them energy. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? I got to touch this person's hand, look at her in the eyes. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah, for sure. Yeah. yeah you know Ooh, baby. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> for so, sure, man. Hey, yeah. I like to ask this question, man, because we have like, a lot of game nights and stuff, man. We do this thing like a song or an album that defines a time of your life that you just can always go back and be like, damn, like, that put me right back in that place. What's that, what's that special song or album for you, man? Usher Confessions. Classic, dog. Greatest album ever created. Classic. Front to back. Classic album. I've heard it at least 30, 40 times. Me and my cousin was arguing about that album because we was talking about the whole versus battle thing. Mm. And that album right there is going to put people down. Like, oh, yeah. Dog. Oh, yeah. That's, for, that's hard to beat. Yeah, for as long as everybody thought that album was about, you know what I'm saying, Usher Life, but really, that was Jermaine Dupri. Yeah. And you know what I'm saying? But Usher just was, man, that, that's a classic album, man. Yeah. Like, you can't go wrong with that album. You can't go wrong with that album, Not man. At all. So, man, with you, man, with your music, man, give me like when you first like, you know what? You say you, you the high school. Your dad said you had to pick and choose. Like, when was you one hundred percent to the music? Like, this is what I'm doing. I'm putting all my focus on it. When was that? Twenty thirteen, my freshman year of college. Mm-hmm. I met um, two gentlemen by the name of Joe Barry and Diego. Mm-hmm. Shout out Fresco and uh, uh, Joey KB. So. um that we were in the lunch room just freestyling. We do it every day. We come downstairs, everybody be on the table. We get to freestyling and going around. So I would rap and I would sing. Mm-hmm. They were already rapping at the in the uh, Diego's basement recording. They like, hey man, you know, we got a song. We want you to be on the hook. Come yeah. through and record. So I went over there. Yeah. We recorded some stuff. You know, it it, it wasn't the best, but yeah. for the time, it was hard. Yeah, yeah, it was hard sure. to us. And I'm like, dang, I got somewhere to record now. My DJ, uh, shout out Snack Daddy, uh, Marquette's official DJ. He said, bro, you cold. All you got to do is get in the studio and record this stuff. Yeah. And I did. And when I I was able to uh, find a place to actually work on music and put things out, mm-hmm. I knew it was what I wanted to do. Oh, yeah. Hold up. I don't, I, know. Know. I don't mean to cut y'all off. My cousin just said this on here. Y'all, you know, we in Detroit with the Detroit Lions. Barry Sanders is from Wichita. Oh, yeah. Wow. Yeah. yeah. True, true, true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I just seen, I, I okay. met Barry Sanders for the first time a couple oh, weeks ago, hard. too. Yeah, yeah. Hell yeah, yeah. Best running back ever, yeah. ever. Yeah, so you say like so you in the studio, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So like when you when you making music, like some people it's different than just rapping or, or singing music outside the crib and then you go in that studio in that booth. So like was it your first time in there recording? Was it something that you was messing up on? Like or did no, you just and, and it I, smooth? No, I think that's part of why I I knew it was it because I felt like I was at home. Yeah, you know it felt like I, I just I just closed the curtains to the shower. Yeah, and. I turned I turned the shower head on and it was time to record. Yeah, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. Like it was just second nature. Mm-hmm. I knew it was what I wanted to do because it came so naturally and so easy to me. For sure, for sure. Now in the studio, man, a lot of times, man, what's some things that you what's some things you need in the studio? Some dudes need women, some dudes need drink, some dudes need food. Like, what do you need to have a like a, a good studio session, man? Computer engineer, a mic and an interface. That's it. I don't need That's nobody else. Yeah, uh, yeah. I feel like a lot of people I uh, too many distractions for me. Mm-hmm. You know, um, I talked to AJ. It's actually the first time meeting AJ in person. That's what I was saying. What the first yeah. time y'all? I was yeah. gonna ask him how y'all. How did you, you guys meet? Yeah, so it's our first time. It's first in person, but I've known him for two years. Okay. So uh, he has he hasn't been there with me um, ever, but you know I be on the phone with him sometimes. But it's just we zoned in. Mm-hmm. I don't need nobody else telling me, hey, do this here. Like, yeah. nah. Yeah. My my engineer is good enough and amazing at what he does to let me know what don't sound right. Okay. You know what I'm saying? And I don't want to take away from how great I want the song to be. Yeah. Talking to this person and that person, cracking jokes, 
Because, you know, I, I, I ain't getting paid at that point in time, mm -hmm. but this can get me paid. For sure. For so sure. it's business. Yeah, yeah. It's all business. So how you, how you guys meet? Did you hear something that he did? Like, man, I had, a, I, man, I had somebody come across my man's on Spotify, uh, and they was like, man, you, you should reach out to him. So I reached out to him, and I was just like, yo, what up? You hard. Yeah. I'm hard. Let's be dope together, man. And uh, I said, I'm going to just let the music speak for itself. Shot him an email. I think it had like what, four or five beats. In yeah, he actually sent me his uh, website. Um, his, his, his website for B-Stars. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He yeah, sent yeah, me that yeah, said, yeah. Uh, I got a bunch of uh, some slow stuff, army stuff on there. Check it out. Mm -hmm. And then just let me know what you think. And I, I, I tell him back, like, bro, you, you dope, bro. Yeah. What, what you trying to do? Mm -hmm. He gave me his number. We, we was on the phone for like an hour and a half, two hours. Yeah, yeah. And then One, first out. night. Uh, so, so like when our first single was about to come out, he was sitting on the song for a while. And I'm like, bro, when did you drop the song? Yeah, man? yeah, yeah. When did yeah, you yeah. drop the song? I want to show everybody, man. Yeah. And he like, well, I'm, I'm going to drop it on my birthday. And I'm like, what what does that tell you? When <laughs> yeah. are you dropping it? <laughs> and, you know, yeah. and he said, I'm, uh, on my birthday. And I said, when is that? He said, January 31st. Yeah. That's my birthday. Oh, straight up? Yeah. Same so same. Yeah, Damn. Yeah. So Damn. we share the same birthday, man. It was yeah. always, fate is crazy. Yeah, man. Hell yeah. 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 What's the motherfucker, what's the likelihood of that happening, man, though? I'm right. saying, that's the right. same right. thing we said. Man, man that's, that's, that's wild, man. Same thing. Now, with you, man, you being an R&B singer, man, like, how important is it? Like, how important is real R&B for you? Because a lot of times, like, with nowadays, with R&B, man, it's like they try to mix so much rap into it. Like it's not strictly just singing like I was in the eighties and nineties. Like how important is that to keep the real rap I mean real R and B alive? Um music, I mean, I don't too much care what everybody else is doing to keep it a buck with you. Oh, yeah, it's sure. I'm only focused on me and my thing is staying true to myself and true mm -hmm. to what I want to create. Mm -hmm. Um so when I was doing we were doing these contracts uh over the past uh summer we made it so that so I, I own my own record label with my business partner uh, Deshazier. Shout out uh, Big D. Sure. Pause and uh, <laughs> super pause. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, so I'm actually signed to myself, okay. uh, which is uh, Chasing the Dream Records. Followed out on Instagram. For sure. Um, and my record label partnered and signed with somebody else. Okay. okay. So that way I am always tied in to whatever. I have that comes out, mm -hmm. and uh, I say that to say that's why being true to myself is so important to me. Mm -hmm. Making sure my R and B is the R and B that I grew up with and I love. Mm -hmm. It's easy to fall into these trends Asia, and the yeah. vibes Copy and the way. Yeah, exactly, yeah. you know what I'm saying. But you know, I want to make sure I am me to the fullest, sure. and that is me keeping R and B alive. Yeah. Now, how was you discover, man? Like, was did somebody discover you, find you, or would you like kind of like shooting out music to people? Like, how no. was that process for you? Well, it's funny you ask. There is an <laughs> app. Called uh, Loom. It is on iOS and uh, Android, mm -hmm. and it is an app for independent artists to release their music in a way where it's more beneficial and more lucrative for the artists themselves. Okay. You know, Spotify and Apple Music and the Dis Distro Kid and um, ASCAP they take percentages out of what you make, mm -hmm. and through Loom mm -hmm. you don't do that. Okay. You know, you get uh, there is current. They have a, their way of uh, their own currency on there. You can send to people, and you can take that currency and make money off of it. Okay. okay so, no. um, uh, Big K actually, uh, it, he he has sent me a message. So they have it's kind of like Instagram. Mm -hmm. You can have requested messages and people you're already talking to. Okay. So every now and again, I go through my requested messages and see who talking to me. It's usually people saying, you know, I, I rock with you, yeah. want to do a feature. So yeah. I'm looking through, I see Kareem, Big K. Like, <laughs> who is this? Yeah. So I look at it, and um, you just talking about me. Uh, I'm an A and R. Work for yada yada yada. Yeah. I like you. I like what you're doing. Uh, heard that '90s R&B was dope. I want to chop it up with you and see yeah. if we can get a situation going. I talked to my business partner. I'm like, bro, can you fact check this, bro? Yeah, yeah, make sure it's real. Exactly. Because yeah. I, I mean, ain't no disrespect to nobody, yeah. but you know what I'm saying. You never know yeah, nowadays. Sure. Like, no, I got don't. a call from Women's G's yesterday. Thought out that was a scam. Yeah. You know what I'm saying. So <laughs> you, like, you never know. So he double check. He's like, bro, he's legit. Yeah. So um, he emailed me. Uh, DeShazia got to talking back and forth to him We got to rapping and that's how it happened You know what I'm saying So he found me um, Had faith and believed in what I was doing Already yeah. doing and knew that he could elevate me yeah. And um, get me to the place where I've been longing to get you Shout know? out K man Yeah Big this, K Shout said, out my homie This platform is called Loom? It's called Loom Yeah L-U-M Okay yeah. Cool 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 yeah, it's, you, it's based out of Madison, Wisconsin Now in 2019 man you drop a Violet Yeah or whatever. And I do this thing on a show called Top 5 so okay. top five tracks on that project. So for me, I got uh, "Treat You Right," 
Oh yeah, that's a banger. Shout out Brian yeah. out of uh, New Jersey. He actually wrote that record for and me. That, and for that, it's crazy because like every everybody can, should be able to relate to that song because it's always a time when you with somebody and you don't you don't know how dope she is or you don't know like you was treating her fucked up until you you ain't messed up. Right. So I've been in those situations a lot. So it kind of hit like damn, you know. Keisha was a good girl, man. I messed that <laughs> all up, though. Like, but you don't know until, you know, afterwards. So that's why I say that song right there, a lot of people should be able to relate to that. Fact. And then number two, I got Days Like This. Yeah. Uh, yeah three, yeah. I got Your Love. Uh, four, I got, I, I got Just Can't Wait. I knew that was coming. Yeah, and then five, five that, that's on code. That's on code. Five is uh, Miss Me. That's hard, too. You didn't like Void? Yeah, I, Boys, I, I don't know when that's on the seconds of forever. Okay. Hey, oh, you, you, know, you, know, you my yeah, like, man. You know what I got out. <laughs> so yeah, that's, that's this my, mic uh, over here. That's my that's my top five joints for that. So give me your top five and kind of give me a story of why you know what those songs kind of like mean something to you. Treat You Right is definitely on there. That's my on my pop, my pop's first favorite song. Uh, when he, he when I started actually singing singing was Treat You Right, mm -hmm. um, and I think like you said that's a dope record, not only because of the what the message is mm -hmm. but it also makes you reflect i heard that song and i and so cause i didn't write it okay so i listened to it after i sang it and i'm like do i actually treat women right yeah, you know man. what i'm saying <laughs> and you know i can kind of go back and just think about what is treating somebody right to exactly. you exactly. and i think that that's a great uh song to let somebody know i love you yeah. and a great song for you to reflect upon yourself and make sure you're doing everything that you feel like you should with your lady or yeah. your guy, whoever. And that's a good question because you never know, like, if you're doing anything right. Right. And sometimes, like, when my wife, I always told her, like, to make this relationship successful, if I'm fucking up, let me know. Exact Communication you know is what I'm huge. Don't wait till we huge. over with, like, you could have did this, that, that. Like, damn. Yeah. We was together. Tell me I'm fucking up. If exactly. I left the damn toilet seat up too long and you fell in there, like, let me know. <laughs> I'll fix it. <laughs> right. And if she fall in, you're going to hear it. you definitely going to hear it. But, so you got to treat you right. All right. Yep, so, what yep, else? Yep. Um, just can't wait is a smash too. Yeah. Um, I just, I love the bounce of that. Oh yeah, yeah, you know, for sure. Uh, the girl, I just can't wait. Yeah. That's, it. That's dope. Um, Miss Me is a dope one because it's kind of like the other side, I guess, of uh, treat you right. You know what I'm saying? You know, I'm worried I'm making you feel good, but miss me with the BS at the yeah. same time. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, like you sure. said, that get get to the if I'm doing wrong, yeah. get to the point. Let uh, me know. Right. Let me know. So uh, that one, your love. I think I did four so far. Your love is fire. Um, my boy uh, DJ Kings actually helped me. Uh, he produced it and helped me write that one. Shout out to him. And I think lastly, I don't know. It's hard. Maybe um, number one fan. Okay. I like that one. Okay. And and Violet the last yeah, one too. Yeah, but I was gonna say Violet is a dope Vi track too. Vi Violet. Uh, I'll speak on Violet. Violet was a dope track to me because um, I, I didn't know why Deshazer wanted to name it Violet. And then he told me, he said, uh, I think it was something to the effect, I can remember it word for word, but violet is the only color in the color spectrum that stands out by itself or something like that. Okay. And I kind of, I, I felt like that. Mm -hmm. You know, I feel like I'm waiting for nothing. My time isn't coming. Mm -hmm. Musicians, but I. feel like I'm kind of, I'm not really clicked up like that. Yeah, 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 so yeah, I'm yeah. kind of um, by myself, like violet. Yeah. It's in the color spectrum. But it's, it's, it has its own way, mm -hmm. and that's how I feel like I am. And number one fan is dope uh, to me because shout out my boy Tater Don, our engineer on the record. Um, it's just me talking about, you know, if you really my number one fan, yeah, yeah, yeah. tell me about yeah. me. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Real, yeah. Show me. Don't just tell yeah, yeah, yeah. me. So, you know, <laughs> I think that, that, that's dope too because it forces people who do like you or, you know, listen to your music to... I'm his number one fan, but do I know? You know my name, my dog, my birthday, yeah, yeah, yeah. And stuff like Tell that. Tell me about me. Exactly, <laughs> exactly. For sure, because so. hey, that's that's some stuff you can be, and that's what go back to COVID. COVID broke some relationships up. Yeah, you ain't, oh, yeah, you didn't really know who that person you was dealing with. Now, this is what you do when I be at work every <laughs> and day. And now that y'all forced to be with each other every day, both y'all working online. You you like dog? Like, do I really want to be with uh my fucking Craig or do I really want to be with Felicia? Like, <laughs> I don't know if I want this no more. Like, All right? You 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 that nigga. Like, mm. you, you like that? <laughs> Man. That's how it be, dog. So COVID really made some either like it broke your relationship or you like, oh, I love this motherfucker for real. Facts, like definitely. Hell yeah. So with that, uh and with that album, man, you know, cause when I knew you was coming on the show, I talked to uh Diddy. I was like, let me go back and listen to some music. And to me, man, I don't know if you say I'm wrong or right, but I get a lot of neo vibes from you. 
as far okay. as your singing. Like, I can mm-hmm. hear Lil Neo in you and junk. Like, and it's just a dope. I'll let my uh, cousin listen to you. And That's you crazy. you got a dope voice, man. Dope project. I'm not just saying that because you right next to me, dub. <laughs> <laughs> it's really, I hope not. Man, <laughs> it was really a dope project, man. So with that project and with the music you've been putting out, man, how, how have the response been, like, from your city or just – just in general. Well, first of all, I want to appreciate the um, the, um, the Neo uh, comparison. I do believe I, I I believe I know that Neo is an amazing songwriter, sure. performer, everything. So for you to say that mm-hmm. means a lot because yeah. I, I look up to him yeah. in my in my journey. And if you know, you know that's that's funny you say that because that's kind of ironic to the situations that we've been talking about that I'm involved in. Okay. But um, the response is it's been good. You know, uh, I feel like. For a lot of people, you, you can't make it in your city until you make it somewhere else. Oh, yeah, That's kind of sure. how I look at it. Um, I don't think that I've gotten the notoriety. I feel like that my, my goal was never to be Milwaukee popular famous yeah. it was to take over the whole, whole world, world. Yeah. so you know sure. that that's Milwaukee is a, is a small dot on the grand scheme of things mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying so my goal is to get the Detroit's and the Atlanta's and the Miami connection yeah. because that's where I want my music to be reached to mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying the world is a lot bigger than where I live oh yeah and where sure. I stay and which is also another reason to why I didn't move to make my dreams happen, yeah. you know, I'm saying like I told you, he found me on the app. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah. I ain't got to go to uh, L.A. Yeah, or yeah, and a lot of people New do York that. to do that, yeah, right? Yeah. Uh, you know, my pops told me young, and I always kept it with me. When you look at a, a football game, mm. and the, from jump, they tell you uh, the defense and offense where they went to school and stuff like that. Mm. You go through uh, uh, 11 out of 22 on the field. Yeah. You don't know where half of them went to college. No, no. But somebody found them because they were good enough. For sure. And that's how sure. I look at And a lot of times when you do create. move to Atlanta or Cali or New York, sometimes you get lost in the shuffle. Hey, man, people a, don't understand yeah, that. Yeah, because there's a million motherfuckers doing exactly, what you're doing. Exactly. You know exactly, what I'm saying? Exactly. I mean, if you if you can stand out in that area, you then you really got to yeah. know you cold. Mm-hmm. But like you said, it's a lot more people doing what you want to do. So yeah. it makes it ten times harder. And then with social media, man, it's a little easier to navigate and make connections with people like y'all did and all right. that stuff. I, so. Man, with Clubhouse did yeah. a lot of that this uh, Oh yeah. Yeah. Man, he he actually I was on Clubhouse, but he put me on to the benefits of it. Mm-hmm. And um we got on one day, got in the room. Um so one of my goals was to work with Troy Taylor. Okay. You know, similar names. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. similar backgrounds as far as the music influence and stuff like that. You know who that is, right? No, people put me on game. Troy Taylor. Put me on game. Put me on game. Sorry, I'm, yeah, put me on so, game. So uh, he is um, a songwriter and producer. Okay. Work with um, uh, Mariah Carey, Mary J. Blige, Trey okay. Songs is somebody who he's uh, uh, working with frequently. Mm-hmm. Neo was just over there, but he's an amazing uh, producer and songwriter. Okay. And, um, you know, Trey Songs got a song, I think it's uh, The Back Home with Summer Walker mm-hmm. yeah, on yeah, the yeah, radio. Yeah, yeah, and that Troy yeah, yeah, Taylor, yeah, you look yeah. go. Okay, so, okay, yeah, okay. I know exactly that's, what you're Exactly. About now. Okay, so that's okay. him. And um, I really wanted to work with him. And we got in the room one day if they was playing music for executives, and he was in the room. Mm. Uh, I was at work. I'm, I'm banging his line like, bro, pick up. I got to go to work. <laughs> yeah. uh, and uh, he ended up answering. I'm like, hey, man, I can't get in. I'm going to work. But he's in there. I want him to hear my music. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So because of how, you know, the uh, pull to refresh, so everything is yeah, updated. Yeah, 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 they yeah. didn't do that when he came in. So he's in the room because our, our homie Jay came, put us on the board, and he was the first one up. He yeah. was the last one that just came in. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. somebody, they was rushing to get to the next person. So I'll cast the AJ on the beat. Yeah. And it wasn't his turn, but by the grace of God and fate, like we always say, oh, yeah, for sure. they let him go. Yeah. Troy Taylor heard it. He messaged me back on Instagram, sent me his number, and you know I, I can call him right now yeah, and yeah, talk yeah. to him. That's what's know? up. So you know, I, you said social media is, is an amazing thing. Oh, it's huge. Thing. You just got to be able to use it right. Yeah. Exactly. You got to be able to use it right. Like, it. Social media got us together because that's how I met. Deshaun, right? Did he? Right. Well, for that, we wouldn't be doing this right now. Yeah, exactly. So you gotta be able to use it, and don't just be. I think that's the one thing uh, with artists, podcasts, whatever you're doing, you gotta make sure you are on there heavy. Mm-hmm. You gotta promote yourself heavy because, like I said, when you are becoming, who gonna do it besides you? Right. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Then yeah. that's when you are gonna get the people to, to post and follow and share your stuff like that and right. get you out there for real. Yeah. So with music man, was it ever like with singing? Was it ever a time you were defeated when you was like, you know what? I'm, I don't know if this is it. I don't Man, know if I can, you know, say Multiple it. times. I, I, I What's still one time had that battle. Out, though? Um, so back in, I think it was 2017, 2019, there was this uh, Milwaukee Musical, uh, Radio Music Awards, and my song, 90s R&B, was up for Song of the Year. That was on your EP, right? Yep, yeah, 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 yeah. So my first one, Cadillac Dreams. And I'm like, bro, this is this the hardest song out. Yeah, and we yeah, all yeah. knew it. Me, D, knew it. But... 
you know, as you get uh, deeper in the journey of music industry, any industry, I feel like there's politics that go on. Oh, yeah, for sure. And for sure. I felt like I got cheated. A lot of people who won was a lot of cool people with the radio. Yeah, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. Not not that they, they weren't good enough to win, and I, I was salty about it, but... You know, I, I I believe in what I do, mm-hmm. and I think I'm better than you put me against anybody. I'm a, I'm gonna do what I can. For sure. I'm gonna say I feel like I won. Yeah, yeah, but yeah, in that yeah, instance, yeah. I I did feel like I was slighted. Mm-hmm. So, you know, going back, like, dang, if I can't win in a war here, I'm gonna go up against the yeah. Trey Songs and yeah. Chris Browns of the world, and that really, you know, kind of it hurt. Yeah, you know what yeah, I'm saying? Because yeah, yeah. I worked hard. It got like five hundred thousand streams in a couple months. I'm like, oh yeah, this is a no brainer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it, it didn't work out. But no is a part of the journey. Oh yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, like I, you said, many closed doors. It's gonna help you. Right. It's gonna but, help you. You know what I'm saying? The the one that you know God opened for me brought me here. Mm-hmm. He brought me to my uh, Miami uh, uh, last month a few weeks ago to work with Rick Ross. I seen that. I peeped. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah you know yeah, what I'm yeah. saying? So. You know, uh, like I like like I told you, I said before. You know, Milwaukee was never the goal anyway. It was here everywhere. So you know what I'm saying. I I I, I'm, I, I worked with Rick Ross before I get an award in mm-hmm. in my city. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because yep, yep, yeah. you Forever. know what I'm saying. So, yeah, because you are, <laughs> exactly. That award ain't gonna do nothing. That Rick Ross, that's gonna be. Who's this? Like, exactly. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Life changer. So oh, yeah. that was one time for me. Now I do. I want to ask you this, man. What is your mm-hmm. personal definition of a successful career? Being able to sustain the life you want to live and support for your family. You sure. know, uh, I told my homie D the other day, I don't need a billion dollars, mm-hmm. you know, a trillion dollars. I need enough that my wife and kids are well taken care of. I can do whatever I want to do without having to worry about a bill. Yep, my yep. family is safe. And, you know, when I die, I can look back and say I accomplished something. Oh, yeah. One yeah. of my main things is to give back to my community the way that I was given you know, with my mother and my father. So I want to open up my own adoption agency. Dope, I want to uh, start my own uh, chain of um, grocery stores in the inner city. Oh, yeah. Every time my, my cousins want to go out to a Walmart or a you Target, go way out, man. they had to drive 20 minutes. <laughs> man, it's but never any, nothing. Anytime the they city, wanted uh, some uh, hot chips, uh, exactly. a beer. Some two for a dollar, the hostess outside. cupcake. <laughs> right, you know what for I'm real. saying? And I, I'm, I'm big on trying to uplift my people. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I actually... I did stop a lot of my childish things because I, I realized how toxic it was, not only for me as a man, but as the people around me, yeah. my brothers and sisters. So yeah. I want to give back. And, you know, as long as I can do that and still live the life that I, I want to live and I feel like my, my wife and kids deserve, for sure. I'm fine. For sure, for sure, man. Now, you know, we was talking about social media. We talking about your music. Like, are you a type of artist that, like, put out a project and let it marinate mm-hmm. with the people and let them sit with it for a minute? Or are you a type of person, like, Hey, this is a what you doing right now moment on mm-hmm. social media. So, do you got to put music out as much as you can, or like you just want to sit with the project for people to like just sit with it? Because a lot of times, a new artist, I was saying that with my homeboy who was on the show, you could be a new rapper, new singer, pull out a project, and people will take one listen. And that's it. It could be a dope project, but you don't have that name. So, you're going to take one listen. And put, but with your Trey Songs and Neo, you're going to sit with that thing for a month, two yeah. months. So, do you feel like you got to put out consistent music, or you got to just sit on this body of work and let the people grow with it? I don't feel like I got to put a song out every single, excuse me, month or week. But now I'm talking to my team, that is something that we're going to start doing. So, every month I will be dropping two songs, the beginning and the end of the month, mm-hmm. along with a video for one of them. Mm-hmm. Um, when they talk to me about it and they... Um, you know, explain to me how we have to keep hitting them over the head to get yeah. their attention because I don't have it yet. Yeah. It made sense. But I'm a type of person to sit on something mm. for maybe a, a year. I got songs in my in my vault that I did when I first met him. Yeah. You haven't released yet. I feel like when the time is right, you know that. Now, do your team be mad? You're like, no, put this shit out. So, <laughs> like, sometimes, but, you know, the, the channels <laughs> of communication don't only stop at me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, yeah. we could want to release a song. And uh, put it out, but he got to hear it first. Mm. We got to make sure it's mixed right. Mm. We got to put a video treatment because you don't want to do the song. It gains some wind, but we ain't talk about the video. Yeah. Now the video takes two months to do. Song already died down. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But um, yeah, so we it's a, it's a communication thing. Sure, but we gonna sure. start doing. That. I actually got a song coming out soon called "You Again." Okay. Uh, just in time for the uh, Valentine's uh, season. Yeah. Uh, this is a song produced by the big homie over here, AJ on the beat. Got to be some heat. Just uh, speaking on how you can love your significant other, but you gotta love yourself first. Oh yeah. You know what oh, I'm yeah. saying? Hell yeah, man. So, Cause you can get relationship yeah. and shit. 
Hey, you might not be over the last breakup. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> and I mean, and not only that, that person isn't, you know, nothing is promised, neither yeah. are people. Yeah, yeah. I, you know what I'm saying? We, we, we all got family that did us yeah. dirty. Yeah. So, um, you know, just make sure when that person leaves or if they leave or something happens, you, you still got yourself yeah. to fall back on. Yeah, yeah. You know and what when, I'm when both of y'all come into a relationship knowing that, Shit. Exactly. It's everything. You know, you know what I'm saying? You love you and I love me and we love each other. Yeah. That, that's three loves. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, when I got my wife, though, I'm like, hold on. You the one. Oh, uh, right. You know what I'm saying? The past I'm like, hey, I might have fucked up, they might have fucked up, but this one, we kind of like, so we clicking. Exactly. And we totally opposite from each other. Mm -hmm. I didn't think that worked out, but sure, it worked out good because yeah. things that I lack on, she pick up, things she lack on, I pick up. I'm like, you know, everybody's talking about you complete me, but. Yeah. Uh, one half idea, another half idea, make one idea. You mm -hmm. get two already completed ideas, you got a big idea. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Sure. So that's For how sure. I look at it. For sure. And um, so you can know you got the project. I just talked about Violin in 2019, man. When's the next time you gonna put out an album or EP? Because I don't know. Nowadays, people call it whatever, mistake. <laughs> I'm an artist, a body of work. They don't even. I don't know why people be disrespected by saying an album. Yeah. I think an album. That's <laughs> a label politics, for real. Yeah. For real. Yeah. 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 I I, I, mean, I think it's that and. You know, I think it's another thing when people, you know, they have sold out shows, but they cut off half of the the theater. Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. nobody wants an album that did bad. Mm -hmm. But if you got an EP and you only sold 200,000 units in a week when everybody else selling a million, yeah. well, it was just the EP. EP. It was just, yeah, it was exactly, like you know what I'm saying? You know what so I'm saying? It, it definitely is the label politics because to get out of some deals, you know, you're required to do this many albums. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? EP may not be included in that contract. Mm -hmm. So... But um, as far as me dropping one, when the time is right, we're going to drop it. For you know, sure. we got to make sure it sounds good. Aesthetically, everybody who is involved is pleased. Get the splits right for everybody to make sure that we all, um, and, you know, ain't no shady stuff going on. Yeah. But like I said, I'll be dropping singles, uh, two singles a month for the next few months. So, oh, yeah. you know, there. you put all them in the playlist, you got an album. Oh, yeah. You sure. know what I'm saying? Yeah. I ain't got to drop it because I did it yeah. one by one. Yeah. Now, so, with, with, uh, with Music Man, what's some um, short-term, long-term goals for you? Um... Grammy is definitely uh, a goal. Okay. Um, uh, curating a situation or a deal that is beneficial to me and everybody I uh, am involved with. I don't necessarily need a record deal, mm -hmm. but you know, um, if I, I, I gain some traction by myself and we can figure out something to get my uh, distribution a, a better situation, you know, whatever it is that you know, uh, everybody eats off of it. I'm cool oh, yeah, with. For sure. um, that's definitely a goal. Um, home studio, yeah. learning how to record myself. Mm -hmm. You know, everybody isn't always working on my time. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's, so, the one, that's the one thing a lot of people came on the show and talked about, like, just learning how to do that shit themselves because a lot of times they ready, but the producer ain't ready. Engineer exactly, ain't ready, you know exactly. And it, it makes everything run a little smoother. You know, yeah. I'm not waiting on you, you're not waiting on me. Yeah. So um, that, and um, just keep networking and growing and becoming better at what I do every single day. I will never reach my full potential because uh, I, I feel like it's, it's limitless. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, I can always become a better uh, musician, yeah. person in general. And For every sure. day I should be able, uh, be able to realize and uh, see the growth from that. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. that's another one of my goals. But, you know, just to be successful, uh, be black and die when I'm supposed to die. Yeah, yeah. Make sure everybody who <laughs> yeah, is involved yeah. with me are proud of me oh, yeah. and what I've done. And they can look, look at me and... You know, when something when I do meet my demise, say I was a great person yeah, and my music sure. will live on forever. Yeah, yeah. Now you mentioned uh, earlier, man, about working. Mm -hmm. How do you manage your work life with your artist life? Man, it like it, it's come to the point now where it it was stressful at first. Yeah. But I don't really care about yeah. it. You know what I'm saying? I know what I want to do and I know I have to make sacrifices to get there. Do you feel like you so. put your all into music but still working the nine to five? Oh, you, you no, I, I don't I don't think you can split anything and give one thing your all. Yeah. But I, I give it Enough to know that I'm exhausted at the end of the day. Yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying? You yeah, know, yeah, I, yeah. I I give it as much as I can give it, um, because you know I I am working for somebody and I do need to make sure I do my job mm -hmm. to you know my best ability. But yeah. while I'm there, I'm working on music. A yeah, lot a lot yeah. of songs I write, I I got my headphones and I'm a cook. Yeah. So when I'm chopping up fruit and vegetables and stuff, I'm listening to his beats, freestyling, trying to figure out how I can build a song. Yeah, yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Dang. So I'm I, I, I make dude, sure dog. I do that. What you say? He can cook and sing? No, you got <laughs> A little bit, a little bit. Oh, yeah, look here, man. I was... might be Jamaican. I don't know. I got to check no, the hey, ancestors. Growing up, you be mad to dudes who can sing because you didn't put your best rap to a girl. <laughs> then you come and do, hey, 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 here's this rap. Like, she going over here with Tyler. Like, damn, I was right here. <laughs> and then he could cook. Oh, that's a rap. Valentine's Day, 
You got your own little set. You ain't got to take out the heat. No, nah, yeah, no. Nah, cook and man. sing. Cook like and sing at the same time. Cooking, cooking too, though. Oh, Dude, yeah, yeah. yeah, I'm mean, cold. What's cold. this? Like, let me ask you this. You got you you meet a chick and you're like, oh, this the one. What's what what you gonna go? What's your go to uh, dish you gonna cook for? It? Asparagus, mashed potatoes. Steak, baked chicken, whatever yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. whatever it is. Make sure you, you got to make sure you uh, when, and when you talk. So I'm I'm a man. Uh, I got details and stuff. Mm-hmm. So you know, I got to make sure I pay attention to all of that. So if she says she like a certain TV show or a color, yeah. when she come over, have, have, have all that set up already. Yeah, yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying? The the room is purple, uh, SpongeBob or something on the TV. Yeah, yeah. And you, man, when you talk, you know, you kind of the food is something you kind of go back and forth, kind of icebreaker. Mm-hmm. So you peep, you like this kind of dessert. I got that for after we eat. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so yeah, yeah. I try to go off of whatever she says to make sure that when she come over, yeah. I, all I got to do is make sure it's seasoned good and I cook yeah. it right. I know yeah. she don't like it, but she like it anyway. Yeah. You know what Season saying? is important. Uh, very important. <laughs> very, you very have important. A good boy, you mess up a good meal. Like, damn, you put no sense on that thing? <laughs> you fuck the whole little thing up. The fact. <laughs> now, man, I always ask people this, man. Young nigga thinking versus some shit I've been through. A lot of times when you you young, you thinking this certain way. But when you get older, you're like, oh, what the fuck was I thinking? So what was some young nigga thinking you had, like, 17, 18 years? You said you would never do, never be. But the age you are now, the person you are now, you look back like, dog, what the fuck was I thinking? Um, I think basing opinions just on looking at somebody is super corny. Mm-hmm. I think announcing your every move is super corny. Mm-hmm. I think, um, you know, flexing on people is corny to me. You know, mm-hmm. like... You know, you ain't all, we ain't always got to see like your money. You like yeah, we man. we see it, bro. Dog, yeah, you we up. Know, we know, you dog. Know what I'm you, got you up. It. You won. And you know what I'm saying? I, I feel like, you know, even if you're not a jealous person, like subconsciously that get to people. Yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying? And um, I always thought that communication was corny. Mm-hmm. I always was shut off. Um, but you know, I, I I thought you know, learning about religion was corny. You know, there's a lot of things that I thought I didn't need until I needed it. Yeah, for sure. And so. I think there's a lot of like childish things that I put to the side, like as far as the judgment, mm-hmm. you know, um, just the doing too much, always trying to be that it guy and yeah, all yeah, in the yeah. way and stuff. So I think I've really calmed down as far as how I act because, you know, going to places like this, I can't be out here running around, slamming yeah. doors yeah, and stuff. Yeah, 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 that make sure. everybody I'm with look yeah, bad. Yeah. So, you know, just know, realizing that I'm not only moving for myself anymore, I'm moving for a purpose. And like I was telling uh, my homie D, like, if this don't work for me, he got a real estate business. Yeah, got K is an A and R. The Shazer yeah. is already in his career. I'm yeah. not, and a lot of the things that I do and don't do and say and how I act, like on Facebook and stuff, that comes back and reflects everybody. Yeah. So in order to make sure that you know I get to where I want to go, I gotta realize who I got. And that's the thing you said that's important, Not carry, but, you know, I got with me. What you said is important. The things that decisions you make affect everybody. Exactly. People don't understand that. Your household, your team, your family, your name. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? So you got to make sure you take care of that. You know what I'm saying? My name is everything. Right. You know what I'm saying? So I got to make sure I I protect that with everything I got. Facts. So, yeah, that's 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 what's up, man. Hey, the uh, funny question, man. What would be an artist that people would be surprised that you you was rocking with besides NSYNC? <laughs> I ain't surprised though. Everybody like, like people answer. me. They clown me. People clown me, bro. I been getting clown for two weeks for saying this because uh, it, <laughs> it. people are surprised that I like this album, dog. And I think it was a dope album. <laughs> Fuck you. Go ahead and say it. Ray J. Me. Radiation. You have y'all heard that? It was. I play one wish. No, dog. You got. Is this one joke called? Uh, I did some corny shit one time, man. My girl about to break up with me, dog. And he had this song called Anytime. Don't tell me you got this. this no, no, no. I did, wor- I did worse no, than that, dog. I'm I did like... worse. I um, I played on her voicemail, the first verse. Shit, no response. <laughs> you showing your age, too, man. Remember we used to do that? Play that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, hey, I, play, hey, I thought I was going to get her back, dog. So I put that Ray J, that radiation album in. Put that first verse in. Like, I know I fucked up, but... I put that boy next to the speaker. <laughs> I ain't get no, no call back, dog. Like, Never. Damn, I, I just that I, joint probably still saved on her uh, machine too. Mm-hmm. That's it crazy. probably is, man. So who's an artist like not not trying to dog anybody, but they'd be no. surprised like who you who you like, man. I rock with this person, but you know, what I'm saying other people might not you know rock with him or be surprised that you you know what I'm saying listen to this person. I love everything, so I got country mm-hmm. in there. Uh, I'm a huge. Well, you know, I, I just I like good music. Mm-hmm. I can't think of anything like, off the top of my head where you'd be like, dang, him. Yeah, yeah. But, um, you know, being an R&B, you know, it's all about the opposite sex. So, yeah. you know, that, that song, uh, 
with uh, Megan Thee Stallion and the City Girls. Yeah. The top, not you know, ink. <laughs> hey, like that's hard. Yeah. Like the way they be flowing on that. So I got a lot of women in there. Um, but I can't think of nothing that's like, dang, really him. Uh, yeah. I still listen to um, Jesse. I got Jesse McCartney on yeah. there. Yeah. Christina Aguilera, JoJo. Mm -hmm. um, but to me, it's not embarrassing because yeah. it's good music. Yeah, my you know my saying? tool was that, and then for rap side, it was uh, Rich Boy. I don't know, throw some D's on it. Oh, mm -hmm. that was hard. That, way, I, that That's was the only that song, one. but that oh, was. Oh, yeah, Copeland. What's my man who, um, the um the producer on there? Him. The dude, uh, Polo the Don. Polo the Don. Yeah, yeah, that was. You know him more than I Yeah, know. that was a good album for me, dog. For me. Man. Don't kill me, but that was a good album. I, I also put the Dreams album. Oh, yeah, which, which one? Mr. Yeah. I can't think what album that was on. Cause I know the one the one Dream album I rock with was uh, with Purple Kisses, and that was like the first one I wanted to say. I don't know if that's the same album. I know it's Red. No, that wasn't it. No, that wasn't it. That wasn't it. That wasn't yeah. it. But I, I also like uh, B5. B5, yeah. You're yeah. them. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, who, um, they had the show on Nickelodeon. Big Time, <laughs> Big time Rush. Big Time Rush. I think I heard that, but not. They I, got a couple of them. Uh, <laughs> the Jonas Boy, the bro, boy oh, yeah, Jonas Brothers got a couple of them. Uh, yeah. One Direction had some oh, bangers yeah, one, I got yeah, on Yeah, I said you phone. had so many groups that, it was that one group who had that, uh, remember they had that show they were fighting? The Brothers, Light Skin Dudes? They was brother. Like, that was brother, brother. Oh, yeah, 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 brother. yeah, that one. And going back to boy bands, One Direction did better than uh, B2K. <laughs> what sales or? Yeah, Man, I don't know. Dog, w One Direction, what dog? They, they was hard. This, man, I got they this. They was hard, <laughs> man. Man, now speaking of, I ask this question, man. If you had a dream scenario, just as far as like a, uh, I know you watched Making a Band growing up. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Dylon, Dylon. My dog, <laughs> dog Neskin. Neskin choked out by Fred and John. But if you had to put a band together, like just a hypothetical scenario, man, just you and three other bandmates, who would it be? Singers, rappers, producers, Any, what you talking about? Singers or rappers. Singers or rappers. If you could put down the perfect, the perfect, uh, the perfect mix together, what would you feel with yourself and three others? Bruno Mars got to be in there. Mm -hmm. um, see, I, I see. I, I'm thinking of uh, aesthetically how what, how pleasing would it be to the yeah, ear? Yeah, for sure. You know, just how picking from every different. Um, so you, I, I say, give me, give me, give you a singer, a rapper, okay, and just a, a, a female artist. Okay, a singer. My singer would be Bruno Mars. My rapper would be uh, Big Sean, okay. and my female artist would be. Either SZA or Summer Walker. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. I mess with her heavy, man. I, I I was gonna say her, but you know I, I'm not I, I'm not too hip to her music like that. Oh. She definitely hard though. I'm gonna fight him every time you say that. <laughs> but dog, no, SZA and Summer Walker. That's his song with um. Ty Dolla Sign hit different, really yeah. do hit different. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, dog, and the way Summer and Sis is just, they remind me of like uh, female versions of like a Frank Ocean. Okay. okay. I love Frank Ocean. Yeah, Frank Ocean. Channel Orange, Orange is an amazing yeah. album, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And like, just that, like that airness, that breathy, like that, that like, I don't know, like it's so angelic, you know? Yeah. I would, wouldn't say it's hard, like 90s R&B, like how, you know what I'm saying, the, how the main vocals are, but, you know, they super dope. And her, with that the regular uh, tone and that low tone, yeah, super yeah. in the background, Man. that's hard. Man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. So like the, those three, I, I can't pick but with me. Okay. Uh, Kaylani too. Yeah. He's yeah. Kaylani fan. Yeah, she had that one track with uh, Tiana Taylor, boy. That, that Tiana Taylor last album was hard too. Yeah. That's that another one, one that, dog. That one with Erica Badu on there. Yeah. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. That whole project. Yeah. Hard, Tiana hard. Taylor yeah. one too. Yeah, it, yeah. It, it, she was still doing music. Hey, shout out to Erica Badu. Too. Shout you out, girl, for real. Yeah, <laughs> uh, for real. Where's she yeah. from? She from Detroit too? No, she from Texas. Oh, she from okay. Dallas. Okay, I ain't know. Heck yeah, Erica Badu for sure, for sure. <laughs> Where's she at now? Shoot, I don't know. <laughs> she did the uh, the versus battle. Good to watch that. Go on her Instagram. What's some um, outside music, man? I know you say you want to tap in with the actor, man. Like mm -hmm. I know you still pushing the music, trying to blow up and be you know bigger mm -hmm. and stuff like that. You say you got Grammys and things. Like what's some other things you looking at that you want to do, like um, outside well, of the music? My whole thing was always to be uh, well faceted in the entertainment industry. Mm -hmm. You know, one, one day I'm not gonna be able to hit the same notes that I hit, regardless of what I do as far as drinking or whatever. You know, just old age. Mm -hmm. But uh, I, I ain't seen a movie that old Morgan Freeman been in. It was bad. <laughs> yeah, you know what I'm saying? Sure. So uh, I want to do acting. I want to do Broadway. I want to do TV show. Mm -hmm. And I want to award in every single one of those categories. Hell you yeah. know, um, I, I think that you know that kind of creates generational wealth because you know um, uh, who who's uh, 
What's his name just died? Uh, John Witherspoon. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I just watched all of the uh, uh, Marlon Wayans reruns. You know what oh, I'm saying? Yeah. His family will always make money For off sure. of these yeah, movies yeah. and stuff like that. Yeah. And Don't you say a word. Don't you say a goddamn word. You don't like John Witherspoon? No, neither? he don't like uh, the Wayans Brothers TV Wayans show. He said it was trash. trash. Oh, yeah, super corny. It, it was super corny, but it's. I'm gonna throw a light at you, cuz. I'm sorry, dog, but like it, it's it's super nostalgic, and you know oh. it's it's relatable as, as black men, and I will always support it because man. of that. But I I, I I didn't think it was that funny. I made a post on Facebook, and they got on me. They got Hell on my yeah, heels. As they should. They got on my heels, dog. But they had some funny moments. But John Witherspoon made that. Man, he did. He did. John Witherspoon. He did. Was, he did. He did, man, for sure. Yeah. Now, the last question I'm gonna ask before we get to our little last little um little segment, man. What's something that you would tell your younger self as far as like, hey man, do this different as far as your approach to the game? Stay focused, watch who you trust, and stay true to yourself. Okay. You know, I, I think that those three things are good around every um, as, uh, aspect of life. Work, uh, relationships with women, friends, family, you know what I'm saying? Just stay true to who I am and just remember that everybody isn't always out for you. For sure. You know what I'm saying? A, a lot of people love the idea of what you can do for them mm -hmm. by you being successful and they motivate you for that reason. For sure. So just um, be mindful of that and to just, um, you know, uh, as far as staying true to myself, you know, my music is my music. Don't let anybody deter me from that. And just stay focused on the goal. Okay. You know, I feel like I would have made a lot more ground just in my personal growth as far as just being a man and singing if I would have, you know, said no to a few, you know what I'm saying, uh, parties or whatever. Yeah. Just being focused on what I truly want to do and For making sure. sure I'm zoned in on that. Hell yeah, hell yeah, man. Now, we do this thing, man, called Top 3, and then I give you a category you give me your Top 3. But before that, I want to ask you, if you can... Your top five R&B albums. Now, mine's... Oh, go ahead. Go no, you good. No, you go. Go, go. You good. Okay, you mine's good. Confessions. Look my phone. Of course. Confe Chocolate Factory. AJ Number but Number. Aaliyah. Okay. Mid Education and Lauryn Hill. And then my five going to be a split between Thriller and Off the Wall. Okay. I'm going to give you Off the, uh, off the Wall. Um, uh, Confessions. Channel Orange. Um, that new Tiana Taylor album. I know it's a, a Chris Brown album. No, uh, Trey Song. I think it was Trigger. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Trigger. He, know, yeah. he know. He played that for a couple of little chicks. Dog. <laughs> Dog. He was crazy on <laughs> that, man. Like, yeah. Super, now, now this, super crazy. Both of y'all can chime in on this, man. I'm going to give y'all a category top three. Give me your top three childhood crushes. Mm. Um, Lisa Ray. Um... Pro Black Stacy Dash mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> and Halle Berry. Yeah. What about you, bro? I'd have to uh, concur. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'd have to concur. I think I would add to that J Lo too. I had a crush on J. Big Man, old crush yeah, on J, J Lo. Jason's lyric, Jay Pickett is my favorite ever. Hey. And Friday, yeah. need, Friday need alone. Ooh. Yeah. That was my two. That was my two. My third gonna be Topanga from Boys Me Real. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> she was bad. She was bad. Yeah. There's yeah. another one. Um, Ashley. Oh yeah. Off of, oh yeah. Off of Ashley. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
him beating that was. Uh, oh, so shout out, shout out, yeah, shout out, pops and beating that. Man, my mom, shout out moms too. My mom's held it down the entire time. Yeah, for sure. Um, the third one, that's hard. Probably just, um, it, it won't be one thing, but just every, this no. past year, yeah. um, just working with everybody. What's your top three moments, AJ? Man, I'd say uh, I didn't beat cancer, but I beat a case. Okay. Shout out Shout out to my lawyer. You know what I mean? Shout out for sure. But yeah. Man, man. Um Yeah, parenthood, for sure, fatherhood. How many kids you got? Two. I got a little girl, little boy. That's what's up. they my world. They the reason why I do all this. I just talked to my daughter yesterday, my son, he he ready for me to come back. Oh yeah. and then my last one was uh the day I quit working for the man. Oh yeah, that was a, yeah. yeah, good good ones, good ones. I can't That's wait to be on mine. I must I must have woke up and my lady was like, she said, "You going to work?" And I looked at her. I said, "Fuck them, they fired." <laughs> they fired. They fired. Yeah, they fired. I can't wait to get that moment, man. man I fired yeah. their ass that I'm, that I'm, morning. I'm throwing my badge at everybody. Yeah. Man, all right, give me your uh, y'all into sports. Yeah. Top three hoopers. I'm not. Top I don't care about yeah. sports. Allen Iverson, um, Tracy McGrady. I do like basketball though. Yeah, I like basketball. I don't. I don't really watch too much sports yeah. now. The older I get, the less I care about it. But my favorite all time was Vince Carter. Vince Carter, oh, sure, uh, man. Vince Carter, brother. Man, Duncan, he was the he one who brought the dunk contest back. Yes, sir. Yeah. It was trash. Yeah. He yeah. came back. Well, I, man, I was. A, did, did you see the one where he jumped over Buddy Head? Yeah, 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 yeah. Olympics, Olympics, yeah, 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 yeah. That man, I seen that. I said, who, who raised us? Oh, for real, <laughs> man. Top, top three hood movies. Don't be a menace. Drinking your juice. Yeah. In the hood. Don't be a menace, man. That's I think that's a classic. Everybody know. CB4. And those are funny Marlins. Yes. Yeah, CB4. CB4. CB4 was, yeah, that's hard. What's another one? And then uh, the Last Dragon. <laughs> no, no, not the Last nigga. Dragon. What was the one with uh? Bruce Lee? No. Yeah. What was the one with Bruce Lee? Crash of the Grave. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, yeah, that's that's hard. Hard. that ain't a hood yeah. movie. What you mean it ain't? Because <laughs> he black. <laughs> no. Bruce Leroy. Yeah, that was like that was like that's a, a, hood a name. staple in the hood, man. <laughs> All right, well, I'm, I'm going to go with Don't Be a Menace, New Jack City. Classic. Uh, I love New Jack City. Yeah, New Jack City, um, yeah. Um, that's so many good ones. Sit your $5 ass down. <laughs> and, uh, and, uh, um, hood movie, that's hard. Uh, I gave you two. You, you, can't, you can't come with one? CB4 Because oh. that, that was hilarious Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm black, y'all no, I'm black, y'all <laughs> I, I, I love Miss Society, black. too yeah, Everybody yeah. said I look like Lorenz Tate So I can see it uh, Old dog Old dog I here. can't <laughs> I don't Old dog Man, come on I don't see it I don't see it People tell you said it A little old dog here Yeah so, <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm up with old dog Oh, that's <laughs> crazy AJ, have a seat <laughs> <laughs> Give me your top three other TV shows Um I, I love Law and Order SVU. Um, yeah, he be on that job heavy. Yeah, SVU crazy. They got one called Chicago PD that's nice too. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. Um, I'm gonna take it back. Eyes. Eyes. Like the eyes scared me. Yeah, yeah, I, I, no. <laughs> that's why you have have you beat that case. He was like, hey, that's what they doing in jail. Man, but, yeah, I'm, I'm I seen eyes like three times all the way through. Yeah, the wire was hard too. I, I like a lot man, of I'm, I'm, man, my, power. Cars my top is Martin. Oh yeah, Martin yeah. was a yeah. Martin was. I could watch that today and be cracking up laughing, man. You got that your brother, man, that brother was funny. Genius. Hey, wait, best one. Of my, that's my top three for sure, Martin. Mm, for sure, for sure. You got two more. I got two more. It's three. What was something else I used to watch, man? Tom and Jerry, that was my junk growing up. Throwback, throwback, throwback. I still be watching that today. I ain't even gonna lie. Man. Uh, I'm trying to. Th- I like, I like it too that they don't talk. Yeah. I think that's what I liked it the most about it, man. Yeah. Nobody has to yeah, reveal how smart or how dumb they are. <laughs> Yeah, y'all just running around. Kill, I'm yeah. trying to figure it out. Kill each other. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. And nobody ever dies, though. Yeah, you know, for sure. Just keep it going. Yeah. <laughs> but, keep uh, it going. I'm trying to think yeah. of a third one. Fresh no, Prince? No, no BS, man. Boy Meets World was real. That was a good, yeah, was yeah, a good, that was good show, man. Nigga like Sean, Topanga, Corey yeah, Matthews. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mr. Yeah, Mr. Feeny. Yeah, Mr. Feeny. Oh, God. <laughs> he was like teaching from first grade to 12th grade. Man, like, oh, so he was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
same teacher, though, every you know year, though. It's cool. we grew, like, it, they, they, I like that show because it was a lot of life lessons on yeah, here. Yeah, and I think sure. I was at the age where I was experiencing the stuff that they'd be talking about. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. Mm-hmm. All right, the last one I'm going to get y'all, man. Y'all uh, top three fools. I love pizza. Pizza. Yeah, okay, you know, pizza Chicken. might do something. Yeah, chicken. Man, that damn French toast. Oh, oh my! <laughs> From Bob Evans, though. Man. Hey, man, that French toast was crazy. I know y'all don't know, but hey, man, that I think that's that 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 French toast is probably the one thing on the menu that I'd eat out of that place. But that I just lucked up and got it that day. Yeah, <laughs> and it was amazing. Uh, it was French amazing, toast. man. So, what piece of chicken? What's your third? Um. I, I eat a lot of trail mix. Okay. Yeah, he okay. do. Yeah, I heard yeah, you bet about that, that yeah. 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 He about beat me up because I didn't take some. Yeah, like, what? <laughs> <laughs> take some of this trail mix. Man. Uh, <laughs> and show me your... <laughs> all, right, all right, man, I'm going to eat these motherfuckers. Dang. Man. <laughs> trail mix on deck. <laughs> what about you, man? You say French toast? What? Give me some two more, man. Man, I love barbecue, man. Oh, all things yeah, barbecue. I, I don't barbecue. give a shit, but I don't care what it is. You can barbecue with uh, shrimp. I'm going to eat it. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Yeah. Trail mix. Last one, what are you going to And I don't like, no, you, that's your <laughs> trail mix, man. That's my own portion of trail mix, man. Uh, I'm trying to think what else, man. I'm a Dr. Pepper man if that's a food. Oh, shit. I'm a Dr. Dr. Pepper, Pepper though. It's like my granddaddy's a little Dr. Pepper, man, though. That's my junk, man. I should have a sponsorship by now. Yeah. Too bad man. I ain't on live no more. Yeah, right. Man. All right. Get that. Now, the last one we gonna do, man, I told y'all before we started this thing, man, you gotta give me a hot moment or a drunk moment or both. A funny story when you was one or the other or both. <laughs> Man, I'm off live, so I can tell my story, man. I was, I remember, uh, I was a little pistol back in my day, man. Just a little, but I, I had this Bacardi 151. Oh, God damn. And didn't nobody want to drink it with me. Yeah. So, you know, I'm trying to convince everybody to drink it with me. Don't nobody, everybody like, man, hell no, I ain't right. fucking with that. So then, uh, I got mad, you know, in my typical old fashioned. I was mad at everybody. I said, man, fuck y'all. I'll drink this shit. <laughs> <laughs> man, I must have took it right back to the head. I, I swear, in 15 seconds, I was stripped down to my drawers. I, I was I was that hot. You know what I'm saying? Bro, that jump must have. I was on the curb outside in my drawers like, bro, <laughs> just take me home, man. I don't want to hang out no more, man. Man. I'm good. I ain't drunk since, no lie. For real? Uh, a little Dang. bit. I drink every now and again. Yeah, but you ain't drunk. You drunk like, yesterday. I'm like, not like that, though. I know. No, I'm, I'm just talking about like that, bro. I ain't never. No. Nah. He said he drunk you out the drawers. I mean, I out the, out the clothes. <laughs> and I got aunts and uncles and stuff that live off the bottom. I'm like, man, I don't know how you do it. Golly. What, what about you, Troy? What's a funny um, story? I, I don't too much drink no more, really. Uh, I, drink is usually really my like main thing that I, I, I do on a regular basis. But uh, I never drank or smoked in high school. Yeah. So... College, you know, I'm out the house. I ain't going home to them and try it. Yeah. Uh, I definitely underestimated the power of both of those things. <laughs> Especially mixed. Dog, <laughs> like, man. So we were drinking inside, went outside and smoked. I came back. I'm on the bed. Everybody on the bed. And I, I don't know. Everybody, I'm on the bed. My pants halfway down my uh, leg. Ain't no sheets on the bed. It ain't yeah. my bed either. <laughs> I'm just laying in it. And then the next day, I wake up. Major headache. I get a picture from my boy with some laughing emojis. I'm on the toilet, sleep, slump, at, at, pants down, everything. I was using it, fell asleep. Man. They couldn't get in the bathroom mm. for like 40 minutes. Dog, praying to that boy. Hoping Man. I wasn't dead. Damn. I don't know what hey, happened. When you get that, 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 that feel of the bottom of the toilet when you drunk, dog, just do something to revive you a little bit. Yeah. I, so one time, you so drunk, I'm like, you know, I'm just going to sit right here. I'm yep. tired of getting them and throwing up. I'm going to be right here, man. Real quick story, man. My um, Me and my wife had got... Our uh, first crib that was big enough to have company because we had like a one bedroom, so we couldn't invite nobody there. Right. The bathroom in the bedroom, nobody want to go through my shit. Yeah, take, you know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, yeah. So we got a little <laughs> two bedroom joint. So we had people come over. I think it's like um, Cinco de Mayo or something like that. Okay. So we just drinking. This, you know, he a big fella, so he can hold way more liquor than I can. So Wait, I'm trying to see. Why sit. you gotta do him like that? No, 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 no yeah. <laughs> so, I'm, 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 so I'm trying, yeah, know, I'm trying to compete with him. <laughs> I'm trying to compete with my girl uncle. We just drinking. We drinking Tito's. We going, we going ham on the Tito's, man. So I'm good until everybody leave. Everybody leave. I'm staggering. I'm staggering. I'm trying not to see. I'm not. I'm trying not to let my wife see that I'm throwing up. So she in the shower. So I'm trying to throw up in spots that she ain't gonna find. Come on. So I, I threw. I opened. I opened the refrigerator up and threw up on top of the pizza box. I went to the room. And she and, wasn't gonna well, see that. Find that. Her breakfast bag. 
I threw up in the, in the uh, kitchen sink. Then I threw up in her clothes hamper. We threw her everywhere that she would be. I know. Yeah. <laughs> so then my girl like, get the fuck out of the room. So I'm staggering oh, like, I ain't drunk. And I go in my son's room. I take his covers. And I threw up on his floor and just went to sleep. <laughs> All of the Tito's, dog. Who was your son? My son was in bed. It's cold. He wake up like, what the hell going on? Oh, like, he cold. Wow. Yeah, man. So that was the one time, man. I, and my wife like, How, why did you fucking throw up on a pizza box? Like, I didn't big, think you was going to see it, baby. Yeah, I, know, I, you know, you I know he was done eating it. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, so that's my moment, man. It was terrible, man. She took pictures. I was just, I was kind of messed up, but she was pissed off because she had to clean that stuff up. I got throw up in my Kobe's, like, dang. Man, I'd have made you clean that up, yeah. brother. Hey, man, that's why she, she married to me, dog. Yeah, <laughs> that's why you married to her because <laughs> you can do that kind of stuff. Man, hey, I appreciate y'all coming on the show, man. I appreciate sure. you for so, having man, us, bro. It was, it was, it was fun, pleasure. man. Hey, but we always end off on the on the last sentiment, man. Like, what what's something you want to get at people before you leave off? Like, don't do drugs or you know what I'm saying, something like that. Do you, you know, I, I, people are always so influenced by social media, everybody else's experiences, but your life is your life. When you die, you got to meet that maker, and you got, you know, so you got to right your wrong. So just stay true to you and stay true to what you, you want to do, you know, and dedicate your life to that. I find myself now slacking. I got to get back on that, you know. If you want it, go for it. Yeah, no, nobody, no, nobody should have to question your loyalty to, what, to you and what you want to do. To them... Cool, but sure. if you don't want it for yourself, it's not for you. For sure, so. for sure. Yeah. Yeah. What about you, AJ? I'm, I'm, I'm going to just leave y'all with a quote, man. And, uh, AJ, you want to be? This will sum it all up for you, man. <laughs> the best way to predict the future is to create it yourself. For sure. Mm-hmm. Sure. No, don't send it else. Don't send it else. Just leave it. Okay, okay. Hey, man. Hey, man. Hey, man. Hey, man. Hey, man. When, when brothers get, you know what I'm saying, all good with the words, I just say some wild shit, man. So my thing is going to be, man, if you get drunk and got throw up, don't try to hide that shit from your wife, man. Stop <laughs> 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 for saying, man. She's going to find it. She's going to find it.